Wisconsin and the world. This is TMJ4 News at 10. A Milwaukee man is accused of driving drunk with a suspended license before killing three women in a crash on the city's north side. 23 year old Everton Stewart faces a dozen charges for Friday's deadly collision near Sherman and Florist. Ebony Johnson, LaShonda Jackson and Bobby Dyson were all killed on their way home from a concert. New attend Sean Gallagher walks us through the new charges and has reaction from the victim's family. Ebony Johnson was less than five minutes from home when she and two friends were killed in a crash by a man prosecutors say had a blood alcohol content nearly twice the legal limit. Now, three trees decorated in their honor near the crash site and the man accused of killing them facing 12 charges related to their deaths. For the first time in years, Kim Giles didn't do Sunday dinner at her house. I really did too much since this happened. It was just too painful without her niece, 28-year-old Ebony Johnson, her cousin, 28-year-old Bobby Dyson, and their friend, 31-year-old LaShonda Jackson. Our heart is just broken. Tuesday, the man accused of killing them faced a judge. Court documents show Everton Stewart's blood alcohol content was 0.157 after law enforcement found him at home in his bed a few hours after the crash. You crashed and took three lives and you at home in the bed? I couldn't believe it. I just can't stomach. And this isn't the first time he's been accused of being drunk behind the wheel. In 2019, Stewart had his first OWI. He was issued a $941 fine that he did not pay. So his license was revoked but he continued to drive. He was given a warning for speeding in 2021 by the Milwaukee Police Department. And I'm sorry, but my heart doesn't go out to him, his family. I have no sympathy for him at all, at all. They need to throw the book at him. Stewart's far from the only repeat drunk driver in the state. According to the Department of Transportation, nearly 790,000 people in the state of Wisconsin have an OWI on their record. More than a third of them have done it at least twice. If you're going to drink, stay from behind the wheel. And then you will save a lot of people this grief and have to go through this pain. A pain that won't be eased by justice. If found guilty on all 12 charges, Stewart faces up to 333 years in prison. But that's not enough for Kim Giles. She wants to bring the story of all three of these women to the lawmakers in Madison so they can do something about increasing the penalty for drunk drivers so families don't have to go through the pain that they're going through right now. Near Sherman and Flores, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. All right, Sean, thanks. Let's go in depth here. Wisconsin is the only state in which a first time conviction for drunk driving is classified as a traffic violation, which means no jail time or criminal record. The penalty for a first.